Hey guys, it's Mary, and today I had some time before church, so I thought that I would read you a poem that I wrote a while back. I was going through a pretty rough time um, in my first semester at Tennessee Tech, and I pulled this out of one of my journals, and I've been meaning to share it for a while, but I've honestly been a little scared to, so now I thought it would be a good time to share it. I don't have it memorized, I'm going to read off my phone. Hope that's not too bad. I'll try to keep it over here so I'm like looking at the... Anyways. This is called... This is my poem. It's called Noise. Quiet. 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 There is so much noise in this world that we sometimes forget what the quiet feels like. When quiet sneaks up on us we feel scared, awkward, lonely, or even hopeless. In the quiet, my brain fills the empty space with thoughts of worries, anxieties, and hopes that are bound to never come true. In the world, there is so much noise that demands to be heard when it is all just filler information used by the devil to drown out the voice of God. God whispers to us in our pleasures, speaks in our conscience, but shouts in our pains. It is his megaphone to rouse a deaf world, C.S. Lewis. But why do you think that the world is deaf? Is it because all the noise drowns out what's worth listening to? The Jonas Brothers lyric comes back to me time and time again. Because an empty room can be so loud, there's too many tears to drown them out. The empty room is what this world has done to the quiet. Where the voices in my head are too loud for me to listen to his voice. Instead, they shout at me that I am never going to be good enough. You are not pretty, not on the outside, and definitely not on the inside. How could anyone love you? Because you are nothing. And they're right. I am nothing. I'm not pretty, I'm not loved, and I am never going to be good enough. But I'm not listening to the whole truth because the best lies are partial truths. This time, listen to his voice. I am nothing without God. I am not pretty, not by the standards of this world, not on the inside, but God says that I am beautifully and wonderfully made in his image. And when he looks at me, he sees his son who is perfect, whose heart and soul are white as snow, not tainted by the darkness of this world, the lies of this world, this noise. I am not loved by this world. I am hated because they hated him first, so much that they would crucify him. But he loved me so much that he sent his son to die for me because I am never going to be good enough, not on my own, trying to live every day for myself when every day that breath in my lungs is a gift from him. First Timothy talks about leading a quiet life in goodness and dignity. Psalm says that he leads me beside quiet waters. First Peter says that a gentle and quiet spirit is valuable in his eyes. If this is true, our definition of quiet must be twisted. Because don't get me wrong, I like to hear the sound of my own voice. But if all that talk is just contributing to the noise, should I open my mouth at all? Be still and know that I am God. Those words are so hard to follow and obey. When the noise of this world blows me in every direction, when my brain works a mile a minute and I speak so fast, I smile and nod without even hearing what was spoken. To find a piece of quiet, to find a bit of peace from the noise, from the world, the anxiety in my heart and the thoughts in my brain seems like a little piece of heaven in my everyday life. It becomes easy to be distracted by the noise, the buzzing of a phone, a compliment from a stranger, the politics of current events, but it is all noise when it keeps you from the truth of God who calms the storm and quiets the sea. So that was my poem noise. And it took me like three times for me to get it all out. Um, but I did it. And I really hope you like it. I've been trying to film this or memorize it or do something to get this out here in the world outside of my journal and my phone and my small group of friends who've heard it but I've been scared and nervous and at this point I'm just throwing caution into the wind and letting you guys hear my poetry for the first time and I know the background's kind of bland, and I have not scripted any of this, and the editing is probably terrible, but I'm really glad it's out there, and
and hope you guys have a great week. Love you guys bunches. Bye! I have my tea. It's really hot and I filled it way too close to the top. Still really hot.